Have you been wondering if you're a trailblazer and looking for different maybe descriptors of how you could be one or tips and tricks in order to step into being a trailblazer? Then this episode is for you. Hello, lovely Dynamic Women. Welcome to the Dynamic Women podcast. I am Diane Rolston, your host. And today I've got with me three trailblazers, Janice Bannister, Kathy Fester, and Robin Queen Educator. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, hi. Thank you for being here. We get the joy today of talking about what makes someone a trailblazer. We're going to hear a little bit from you about impact people who have impacted you as trailblazers. And we're going to get into the excitement that is coming this week, which is the launch of Dynamic Women Trailblazer Secrets, which the three of you are amazing authors in. And I just can't wait to share your stories, your tips with not just the listeners today, but with the, all the readers that are going to get their copy of this book. Woo! I'll share more about that after. Let's dive right into this topic. And then after that, I'm going to ask you to introduce yourselves. But I'm just curious first, how have trailblazers impacted you or who has impacted you? Uh, along your journey to where you are today, or even just recently, could be local, could be someone famous, a trailblazer that has impacted you. Kathy, why don't you start us off? Oh, great. Well, thanks for this opportunity, Diane. It's This is awesome. Um, I think for me, I'm a lifelong learner and I'm an educator as well. So I'm always in the position of being a role model to my students, to my family, most importantly, to my daughter. Um, and I um, I believe that that's how I come into this trailblazing type position, because if I am not going through life trailblazing paths for myself as a role model, how are others going to follow suit and, and do that? Yeah. And so on, on your journey, and I know you love learning, who has been a trailblazer in your life that you've maybe learned from, been inspired by, that you have read their books or been to their seminars, or you've just been like, wow, that person is impressive. Uh, you, Diane? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I've been coming to your stuff for years um, and years and years, and I've learned so much from you. You're one of many people that that I look up to and I'm awe inspired. You know, I can go as big as Tony Robbins. You know, I've been to Tony Robbins as well. We all know who he is, or most of us know who he is. Um, but even right down to my daughter. Oh my goodness. I learn from her every day. It's awesome. But you you inspire me, Diane. That's Aww. why I've stuck with you for so long. Well thank you. You're welcome. We could just stop right here because that was yeah. so funny. But we <laughs> want to wrap. Thank you. We'll, we'll go over to Janice. Janice, you tell us uh, who's impacted you as a trailblazer. Well, um, currently, because I work in the arts field, I mean, I look back to other female performers and, uh, you know, as far back as Lucille Ball and Carol Burnett, they used to, you know, they... I watched them be single women in shows. Um, Lucy fought to get equal branding with a husband, right? And, you know, they, there was a lot of things that went on behind the scenes. Carol Burnett, of course, ended up with her own show. And, you know, and the arts are always challenging for women because, you know, the, there's bigger voices than ours sometimes. So um, for me, those areas, uh, those women were really good representations of trailblazers for me and this currently there's lots as well I mean there's women that now just from Amy Schumer like her or not like her but she struggled to get on stage um uh what's her name uh, uh did the pregnant woman that did it you know went on stage while she was pregnant you know there's so many other people that I look up to now and I'm in the comedy field so they're you know there a lot of them are trailblazers to me and they're telling their stories on stage so it's you know really important to me to see where it started from sort of thing yeah yeah so you brought up a couple points around the the way they did it and that's a kind of how we think of trailblazers the way they did something but you're also mentioning how these women are really fighting for equality 
in pay and equality in stage time and in how they were marketed. Like, I never really thought of all of those things, but it's very true, especially mm -hmm. for a lot of the women you were talking about, Carol Burnett and stuff, because, because that was, I can remember growing up with my family watching her and, and so sometimes it is around not the skills, but it's around creating a path for us to even be able to do it. Right. Wow. And okay. supporting each other too. I mean, which is a big thing. Lucy and, you know, Carol supported each other and I'm sure they had other, you know, people that they helped along the way within that era of, you know, performance, whether yeah. it was TV or live or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, Robin, how about you? Queen, tell us. Trailblazer. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm so excited to even just be among you all because that I'm an educator and I'm a creative arts and music and all that. And so um, I'm just a portion of a quote from, I think it's Debbie Allen, uh, who is a trailblazer. And she said, no one builds a legacy by themselves. No one even can find a purpose by themselves. So I'm fueled by number one, my by God, but then my family um, and Rosa Parks. Mm. When I was just a little girl, I met her and it was her quiet strength. It was her quiet strength that I read about her. And then when I actually got to meet her as a child, it it was, that was her character. She mm -hmm. had the strength of like mighty, mighty men in a soft, quiet voice. And when she told her story, I mean, I've never been the same. And so any struggles that I've been through, I like draw into uh, Mrs. Parks. Um, and then finally my, my teacher, um, me, who I became a teacher and educator because of Patricia Queen, who she went, she went beyond, <laughs> beyond what they told her to do in college, beyond what they told her to do uh, um, to work with children who were having difficulty learning. And she said, you know what, I'm going to figure out a whole different way. I'm going to find my brilliance <laughs> and I'm going to find her brilliance. And through that, she found her brilliance. So she found my brilliance helping me when no teachers could help me when I was just a little girl. And so I'm really excited about those references. Like I mentioned, uh, Felicia Rasat, shot my family, God, <laughs> and, and Patricia Queen and Rosa Parks with that quiet strength. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to, the whole idea of who she was being, I want to come back to that uh, in the way of like, how, how is someone a trailblazer? I really want us to talk about that. So I'm going to park that. Um, but I love how we've had regular people in our lives. We've had famous people. We've had like Rosa Parks culturally making a difference for equality of people, all people, right? And it's how amazing that one story, it doesn't have to be a whole life, but just one story can have that huge profound effect mm -hmm. on other people's lives on history. And so we're going to have to really spend some time on this. How, do, how can we be a trailblazer thing? But first, what I'd love, we've heard a little teaser about each of you, but would love to, you know, take 30 seconds, introduce yourselves. Uh, we'll start with Janice this time. Uh, and then we'll jump back to, uh, to Robin. So let us know a little bit more about yourselves and listeners, you will see a full uh, bio and links in the show notes. So please check those out, but you get to hear about them from their own mouths. Go ahead, Janice. Hi. So um, actually, yeah, well, my name is Janice Bamster and I am a performing stand-up comic. I, I make a living from that, but I'm also a writer, a storyteller. Um, and interestingly, I have a background in psychiatric nursing, so I have a real nerd side as well. Mm. I love brain research and I love learning how the brain works. And so I'm a real supporter of, of programming that increases brain activity and leads people to different things in their lives. Um, so I teach a couple courses on brain fitness for Simon Fraser University and uh, that's my working part. I'm also um, a mom of two kids and I have three granddaughters. You, Kathy, mentioned how important our daughters are. And now there's three more coming up in my family grouping. And 
And all of you mentioned um, about story. I think no matter what your story is, whether it's a top-notch performer or teacher or um, historian of some sort, our individual stories are very, very important. And I think to me, that's what I do. I also do a lot of corporate presentations on using laughter as a wellness tool. I think it should be in everybody's package. You know, you can be on medication and you can have therapy and they all work as well. But I think laughter is a really vital, vital part of people's programming. So I encourage that. I teach therapeutic laughter, um, which I've studied with Dr. Kataria, you know. So I have a little bit of everything going on and I teach regularly with stand-up comedy classes and storytelling. And I'm learning that a lot of classes that started for me with, you know, 15 dudes <laughs> is now transitioned to almost 50% women. And the last classes I did for Boomer Pluses, they were all women. So that, and that was an angst uh, uh, storytelling class. So I try and reinvent myself all the time and bring new programming, but in those genres of laughter and wellness and brain stimulation. So that's me. Awesome. <laughs> and I like to have fun and I'm weird. <laughs> I love those about you, those qualities. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was actually in Janice's stand up comedy class. And so I highly, highly recommend it if you can do it in person. And the, the odd time she might do a Zoom class. So just stay tuned and make sure you you follow her on social to get more information about that. So Robin, how about you? Tell us, you know, 30 seconds or so. Tell us about yourself and what you do. Okay. So I am, I call myself the brilliance coach and the queen educator. So I kind of put those two together and just help people make magic, the magic that they already have inside of them. And so for me, um, my mission is to help people, mostly educators, but people who have an education background as well. So I help educators in and outside of the classroom win, but win by being brilliant. And I really, I really um, take the time to empower them so that they really are leveraging that baggage that they think is baggage, might, but might actually be their story to help them grow in the areas that they've been feeling stuck in mm -hmm. um, so that they can live their best lives beyond status quo. So as an educator, I learned all of these ways to uh, be instructionally sound. So if I'm working with you and you're outside of the classroom and you're like, I want to jumpstart my brilliance, I don't feel like I don't feel like I'm being fulfilled. This is not who I am. This is not what I was called to do. What are the other options? Is there hope? I bring hope. And I have a program called Ready uh, so that you're ready. And it, uh, it stands for something. It helps you to be ready to impact using your brilliance, leveraging your brilliance. And with educators, if we're talking about winning, um, sometimes educators don't feel fulfilled. And they feel like they're just going through the motions. They forget their why. And so I have a program and I have a community where we really like help you unleash, unlock and then unleash your brilliance so that you can impact and engage because you can better engage your audience, your students, uh, whoever is whoever you leave a legacy with by being your most best authentic self, but then also having all types of resources to help you get there. It's not as hard as you think. So we have a jumpstart your brilliance program. Nice. And the first time I met Robin, she, we were all, you know, everyone's introducing themselves to the room and it was like, hi, I'm so-and-so and I do this and I'm from here and I'm so-and-so and I do this and yeah. I'm here. And then Robin gets up and sings her intro. Oh. And, uh, and so that's actually, you know, we're going to get back to it again, but the whole bit around how are you a trailblazer? And it's even in the smallest of moments, how can you stand out and do something differently? So that was my first um, connection to Robin. I was like, I need to know this girl. She's got some good energy. I have a song for you today. I just didn't want to hit him with it in the beginning. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll, we'll stay so short. Stay tuned. Uh, Kathy, you can intro yourself. Wow. I love these ladies. Holy cow. <laughs> so I'm Kathy Fester and I am a music educator. I teach in high school and 32 years and still going. And um, I'm also an entrepreneur. I am a certified promptings coach and an expert at uh, relationship marketing strategies for businesses to keep their clients and become referral based so you don't have to do all that schlepping. 
Um, I am a lifelong learner. That's ultimately what I'm all about. I, uh, I, I love to better myself and I love to impart what I learn on a daily basis with my students. And I do that all the time, all the time. And, uh, yeah, that's a little bit about me. There's a whole lot more. I got a daughter and, uh, I love her to bits and I've learned so much from her and I have the most amazing husband on the planet. Sorry, ladies, but he is the best. And, <laughs> Um, I'm really tight knit family. Family is number one with me. It, uh, we are everything to one another. So, yeah. Yeah. And you, you blaze a trail in, in the whole piece around gratitude and appreciation. And so trailblazers are often known for something, yes. right? Their story or their expertise or the way they live their life. And you definitely live life through a place of gratitude and appreciation with relationships being at the center. And yeah, I forgot to I forgot to mention that I'm the co-founder of the Gratitude Appreciation Summits where we have international speakers from around the world that um we get together and we talk about gratitude and how to live and breathe uh gratitude appreciation and kindness 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 people kindness. Yes. Nice. Yeah. 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 And in in my piece in the book I I I'm trying to pull out of the reader uh, a little bit more about how they can see themselves as trailblazers and maybe different areas of life that you wouldn't normally think. And so that's why I'm glad we've we've got all of you in, in similar yet very different ways that you are blazing a trail and sharing your passion. So let's dive into what makes someone a trailblazer. Like, how do we know? Are you a trailblazer? Or are you not a trailblazer? Who wants to kick us off? I, I can. Go for it. I um honestly I think it's about being authentic in a real way. Like, you know, we we have that term authenticity that goes around all the time. But when it comes down to it, do we have the courage to step out beyond the status quo? And I say it all the time. Yeah. Um, and it's it's difficult sometimes to say, you know what, I want something different. I actually, I deserve something different. And the people, my family, just like you were talking about, Kathy, like my family deserves, you know, for me to represent them the best of who I am. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's it's like a lonely island <laughs> when you're blazing a trail. You're, you're actually, people are looking at you and they're saying, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Until you get into a community of trailblazers like this. <laughs> <laughs> where it's like oh no that's right oh keep going and then they're even challenging you harder to the or or better in a better way to help you say see that you don't have to you don't have to just um have the quote of it is what it is because it doesn't have to be it is what it is so for me I think it's like truly getting deep inside yourself your calling uh knowing that people are uh, you have people assigned to you and no one is like you and so when you start to shift that mindset of, oh my gosh, I have to fit in to, oh my gosh, I actually can go a whole different direction with all of who I am, but it takes you loving yourself, changing your mindset and, and, and finding the character that's really who you are supposed to be and not who someone has told you to be. Yes. And can you imagine if Rosa Parks, rather than sitting in the you know, not sitting in the white part and sitting where she was told to sit. Can mm -hmm. you imagine if she was just like, well, it is what it is. And I need to sit exactly. where I'm told to sit. No, no, exactly. And so, and <laughs> like we, if you want to be a trailblazer, think about what pisses you off and what needs to change in society yes. and then make a step towards that. And then just see what happens. She made a conscious effort to sit in a different place and she was told to. And look what came from that. And you yeah. shared about how you were so inspired by her. And that could seem like one simple action, but causes such a domino effect. Mm. So what else makes someone a trailblazer? I'll, I'll step think. in. Yeah, yeah, I'll step in. Um, I think it. Um, I love the authenticity, but even more so the intentionality. Um, mm. I spend a lot of time trailblazing trails um, with music advocacy, making sure that music is available from K to 12. And I won't get on it on this podcast, but it's a fight. And even last week I was fighting again and it's like, why is this happening? 
<laughs> and and it would be so easy to just sit back and just let it happen. It's like, oh, well, you know, I, I've been doing this for so many years. Do I need to do it again? I could choose not to, but I don't because I'm a trailblazer. And, and the intentionality that I put into everything that I do in my life has a purpose and a direction to go towards that will better people, better people's lives around me. And I think that's important. Yeah. So intentionality. We've had authenticity, but I'm also hearing that consistency and commitment to your path. Because I heard the other day a story um, from stage from a speaker who talked about his journey up Everest. And I didn't know, but you have to go up and then come down and then go up and then come down and then go up further and then come all the way back down. And it sounds like for you in being a trailblazer in fighting for children's right for music, it is a constant two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back and having that resolve to continue. So congrats. Yeah. Well, what's funny is I didn't write about that in this book. I think <laughs> that's just one example of many examples that, yeah. that I have. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, how about you, Janice? What do you think? Make well, some well I, I, I agree with both the other women here. That, and it's kind of cool that we're all sort of have an artsy background. Well, there's, this was meant to be, right? Talk about a bigger power, putting us all in the same podcast. But I think also relating to what both of you said is sticking to the plan, even then everybody says it's not going to work. It'll mm. never work. You're not going to, you know, if it's a money thing, you're not going to make any money when nobody will buy tickets for that. Nobody will come to see that blah, blah, blah. And just sticking with it. And if you get all those no's, you try another venue or you try another producer, you know, you know, whatever takes you down that path. And I mean, I I've said more times than I can count, just let me try it once. If it doesn't work, I'll never bother you again. And then when I do it and it's a success, they're like, oh, when are you going to do this again? I'm like, well, let's think about it. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's that stick to itness, if that's a word. But, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of times I would step out of the box with by my myself would step out of the box and I would encourage them to just try it. Even though they thought it wouldn't work, I didn't know if it would work, but I believed in it enough to give it a try. And we all know that not everything does work. And sometimes you learn more from that than you do from the ones that are come easy, right? So I think it's that just, you know, hanging in there a lot of times. Whoa, my camera just went out and hanging. Um, it's just hang in there and, and try it again. If you get a lot of no's, there's someone down the road that's going to give you a yes, even if it's just a little, you know, little yes, and you get to try it on a smaller scale than what you envision. But um, yeah, sticking to your plan. Yep. Go for it. And that's why, like Robin said earlier, it's important to have the people, the right people around you to yeah. be able to support these dreams and the right mentors to go ahead of you that you can follow and try to try to jump into their shoes along the journey. Uh, you said about saying yes, Janice. I'm curious for all of you, what had you say yes to being in the Trailblazer Secrets book? You know, some people are like, oh, I don't think I'm a trailblazer. I'm not really an author. I'm not going to write something. <laughs> so what had you say yes when you were invited to be part of this collaboration? Well, actually, this uh, 23 was my 20th year in stand-up comedy. Um, so and I produced many, many, many productions that have been just female performers. And when I produced my first one, again, I fought that battle. It's not going to work. I never sell tickets. Nobody will come to the show. And it was such a success that I went on to produce more and more female-based content. And, and I've heard it from other female comics, storytellers, you know, even people that just like to come to shows. What a breath of fresh air. We got to, didn't get to see all the same, you know, guys with their pants falling down and their hats on backwards type of comedy right so um that i i believed in myself and i've heard it from other people you were you did such a good thing doing that to the point where after 10 years of producing uh bc's funniest female i basically said i'm gonna let it go and i was like no no i'm like but 
you know, my work here is done. Now other women are producing shows, other, you know, younger women are just doing their own, you know, BIPOC, LGBTQ, you know, all these different shows have popped up. And I like to think, and often I hear that, well, I looked at what you did. So I felt that I, I walked the walk. <laughs> and so I wanted to promote that. Um, to others to, that you can do it too not maybe in my my format of art but whatever you're looking at so yeah, yeah. exactly awesome Kathy how about you what had you say yes again because you've been in confidence secrets success secrets and now trailblazer secrets Woohoo! that is why because I did the other two books and I had to have three books yeah. And, and the other reason I wanted to be in trailblazer is that each book I've gotten. Yeah. Those are the books. Oh, they're so, they're so good looking um, <laughs> is because um, I'm improving on my writing on each one. Mm. I'm actually really proud of this particular one in trailblazer and, mm. and the whole process of writing and sharing stories and knowledge of what I'm learning about myself through learning from others um, I think it's a good thing to share. I think we need to share with one another. And uh, yeah, I'm thrilled. Yeah. Book number three. I'm so excited. Amazing. Amazing. And how about you, Robin? Well, for me, uh, I have been working on projects and books and things. And I really, um, I wanted to tell my story. And I felt like sometimes as I was telling my story, my other books, I felt again, kind of like alone in telling the story. Mm. So I love, I love to get, I interview educators all the time. And um, I was like, this is so brilliant the way that Diane has put this together. And I think to bring all these experts um, in their field to, to, to the table to talk about how they hair their blazing trails is just really a good place for me to tell my story too and be a part of such an amazing uh, project. And so uh, the other reason for me was I just wanted to make sure that I can tell, I can, I can leave a legacy yeah. everywhere I can. Um, my goal in life is to change the way we do education because it affects how we live in the world. And so that's my mission. Like I, I literally have been on that since I was a little girl. And, and so I seen your, your, you know, the dynamic woman, uh, just your whole brand. I was like, you know what, why don't we use that language more? Why don't we use that language more? And why can't I be a part of that? So I was like, oh, I can. So I, I, yeah. I really, I wanted to be able to just like put my stamp on it, my perspective um, within uh, the community of, lady, of of brilliant ladies in there and the dynamic women in there. So that, yeah. Amazing. So now we're going to go to the speed round, which is just give us a teaser as to what you're sharing in your piece in the book. Um, so I'll let you think about that. <laughs> and I just wanted to let everyone know the party is on February 8th. If you are listening to this because your favorite author is in the room right now, then please use their link to get your free ticket to this event on February 8th from 3.30 Pacific, PM Pacific, until about 5.30 Pacific, we're gonna wrap it up. You will be able to get the book at that time. And again, please get it from your favorite author um, so that you can get it straight from them. And it's gonna be a wonderful event. It is free to attend because we just wanna inspire more, more people, men, women, children, everybody. We wanna inspire more people to be trailblazers and to get this book in the hands of more people so that we can really create a bigger ripple into the world. So Kathy, what's the piece you're sharing? Give us a teaser. Well, I'm gonna give you a teaser with, I actually printed it up because I can't put it any better. Life presents a complex tapestry of triumphs and trials weaved within their design are pathways to success unveiled through expression of gratitude, appreciation and attentive intuition so that's the gist of it mm -hmm. and then what i'm looking for is to help others learn how to embark on the journey filled with gratitude and appreciation and along with your intuition and blaze your own trail and working through those challenges that's basically what it's about amazing yeah. how about you janice what's yours Teaser. Well, my, my biggest teaser, I guess, would be that um, 
we're all business people. And I can be as funny as a cat, you know, as, as anybody else. And I can be, you know, and engaging and do all the wonderful things. But if I don't sell my business to you and show you how to get in touch with me and work in my business. Um, and I think that's the thing about a lot of people in the arts. They think, oh, I'm the best performer and everybody's going to come to me. But they don't. You have to do a lot of business side of it and it's very important to know that and I have, and again it goes back to that discipline you have to mm. write your write your comedy and perform your comedy and your story went but you have to sell it too and I know that word is not loved in the business world <laughs> but if we don't sell it we're not going to be on the stages or in our successful oh. modes yeah and and you need to evolve and so I'm sure that you've got that piece in there as well uh, as your career has evolved over the years that you've been working. Awesome. Right. And Robin, how about you? You and me were meant to be brilliant, blazing trails. <laughs> I told you I had a little something for a little something for you, but that's really what it is about for me. It's like you and me were meant to be, we should be blazing. We're meant to be brilliant. We were created to create we will create it to be brilliant and not just if everything is perfect. And so you'll see uh, for our mind, I'm taking you from a space from all of the burnout and all the baggage to yeah. being brilliant so that you really can see. I want readers to be able to see that they were meant to be brilliant no matter what and be and go beyond what uh, they thought were limitations because we have it in us. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And you, Kathy? So it's all about being intentional um, for me, for everybody to slow down. This world is a crazy, crazy place and it's crazier than ever. We all need to take a breath and be intentional with how we choose to show our gratitude and appreciation. It's not about our destination. It's the journey along the way to that destination about who we are and who we become. And it's fluid and it changes. And that's really what my article is all about in the book. And I'm thrilled to be part of it. Thank you, Diane. Yay. Well, I'm thrilled too. It's always fun to have people come back year after year and to be part of it. Uh, we've had some authors who have written their piece in the book and then loved that piece so much, they actually evolved it into a full solo book. Or it sparked an idea that they then are like, oh, I like being an author. I'm going to go do my own book now. Uh, so in this book, there are 42 plus me, so 43 authors that you get to hear from. They are a wide assortment of, of different people in different industries with different things to share. As you've heard today from Janice and Robin and Kathy, there's so much more here. So uh, I'm going to... Thank you all for being here, for sharing today, uh, for helping me to just pull out a little bit more about what makes someone be a trailblazer. And in all of the answers, as you shared your own experience, we also see how you're modeling being a trailblazer in the different aspects of your lives. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the book. And I look forward to seeing the three of you and all of your network at the party, the launch party on Thursday to really celebrate this as, as a moment for all of us and for all of the readers. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you thank on the you. Yeah. Yeah, Sounds good. So for all of you who are listening and you think, wow, I wanna be a trailblazer, make sure you register, show up at the event on Thursday, get your copy of the book from your favorite author. You got 43 to choose from. And, and we hope to see you there. And if you haven't yet, make sure you share this with someone else. Some of you think like, hey, I think you're a trailblazer. Listen to this. Or, hey, why don't we both become more trailblazers by listening to this? And let's chat afterwards about it. Make sure you hit subscribe as well. That will help you to not miss out on any future episodes with other amazing dynamic women who are also trailblazers. So until next time, everyone, stay dynamic. Bye.